The final football game for the state of Mississippi in 2017. All the preparation, all the talk came down to Saturday's Tax Slayer Bowl between Mississippi State and Louisville. To Jacksonville we go. Willie Gay ready to rock. Bulldogs, Cardinals, let's get it. First quarter we go. Mississippi State makes a statement on the opening drive. Keaton Thompson connects with Jordan Thomas here. The big fella is going to get one, pull a spin move, and he's off to the races for 26 yards. That's the way you start off the game into Louisville territory, and after that, Choo Choo all aboard the A train. He's going to scoot in untouched from five yards out. Seven nothing Mississippi State right off the bat. But later in the first, after Louisville gets on the board with a touchdown, Keaton Thompson back to work. Would not be denied here. 14 yards out. The freshman takes a lick, but it doesn't matter. Gets into the end zone. It's 14 7 Bulldogs after one quarter. Second quarter we go. Lamar Jackson struggled in this one. It'd be one of his two. He'd have an interception, but it would come back. Here's Lamar getting in for the touchdown. It'd be a tough game for Lamar Jackson, but he gets on the board there, so it'd be tied at 14. But here comes Jackson struggling on the day. It's Cam Dantzler with the interception. It's going to wear him back for a nice return there. So the Bulldogs in business. They're up 17 to 14. But on the ensuing drive, Thompson, he's going to connect with Reggie Todd here on the rollout. Todd's out, got open field, but he's going to forget the football. The ball is loose and Louisville falls on it. It'd be a big momentum swing as the Cardinals would take advantage of the turnover. Here's your Heisman, 2016 Heisman winner, Lamar Jackson. Once that man gets out in open field, Good luck catching him. 75 yards. Lamar Jackson joined Tim Tebow and Colin Kaepernick as the only guys with 9,000 pass yards and 4,000 rush yards in a career. Lamar Jackson, nice little shovel pass there to Pascagoula native Jalen Smith for the 11 yard touchdown. So the Cardinals up 21 17 at the half. But more in the third, more turnover issues. Thompson's pass picked off by Chucky Williams of the Cardinals. But Mississippi State's defense stands tall. They force a the field goal. Cards up 24 17. But here comes the Bulldogs' defense. Mark McLaurin played the game of his life. The junior safety is one of his three interceptions on the day. That would put the Bulldogs in great field position. And after that, back comes Key and the Bulldogs. Here's the big fella. Rumbles in just short. Eh, nope. There he goes. Rules him in for a touchdown. Thompson with two TDs on the day. Cardinals, but they take the lead on the ensuing drive. It's 27 24, but here comes the freshman. Look at him run. He'd have a buck 50 in this one. 150 rush yards for the freshman from Louisiana. He'd be stopped just short of the goal line, but he calls his number yet again. Number 10 rumbles in. Three rushing touchdowns on the day for Keaton Thompson. Bulldogs lead 31 27, under four minutes to go. Cardinals driving, not anymore. Mark McLaurin comes up with the big interception, along with three picks. He had 11 tackles in this game, so the safety playing out of his mind. The Cardinals get one more chance. After two sacks, it's fourth and forever. Lamar Jackson's going to play a little bit of tag with Mississippi defensive linemen, and then he's going to air one out all the way downfield. The Hail Mary. Jonathan Abrams says, no soup for you. The Hail Mary goes down. An incredible gutsy effort by a Mississippi State team that lost a head coach, lost a bunch of staffers. They get the W, 31-2017. Our Robbie Dono has more on the miraculous win from the Bulldogs. Thank you, Tom, and good evening. My goodness, what a football game. You know, everything can be said about Mississippi State, whether they had anything to play for, if they were just going to show up, you know, everything that's happened off the field with the adversity, with the changes in the coaching staff. It didn't matter. This was a focused, intense, and motivated Mississippi State football team. And they showed it. it. It started right off the kickoff. I mean, you could see the emotion and the, the focus in this Mississippi State football team's eyes. I mean, you just looked at it. Look at the way Keaton Thompson played. He had a brilliant football game. Three touchdowns. The dude was everywhere, made incredible plays. Many of them helped win the game for the Bulldogs. But ultimately, for Mississippi State, it just came down to playing four quarters, never giving up. It's that resiliency and resolve that Coach Knox talked about earlier in the week that this program and the foundation is built on for the Bulldogs. These guys, uh, I've been in their homes. I recruited them. You know, uh, we're all family. We're all family. And, and, and family, we share that emotion. And, and today, that was family out there that won that game. And it was family showing a lot of emotion. Back in January, we made a commitment. Uh, we came as one. Our team was born, and we told them this team would die the same in 2017 if that's our last game. 
And so we, we held each other, we held each other back, we fight, held that rope, held that chain up high and looked each other in the eyes and said, we, we're going to do this. I mean, we know it was a great change and Coach Knox stuck around and coaches thankful for them and we just looked at each other and we locked on and said, we're going to take this field today with pride and we're going to come out with win. Truly an extraordinary victory for Mississippi State and MSU's Tax Slayer Bowl MVP to no surprise was Mark McLaurin had three interceptions. All three of them were momentum swings. Louisville was driving, started to get some momentum with Lamar Jackson, a quarterback, who, by the way, had a ridiculous game. If you have not seen Lamar Jackson in person, find a way to go see him, because more than likely he's going to be in the NFL next year. But he played a miraculous game, Mark McLaurin, and that defense. You got to give it up to Ron English, the interim defensive coordinator. He called a fantastic game, and that front four was outstanding as well for Mississippi State. The DBs made plays, so did the linebackers. And we had so many area guys on that defense making plays. Kobe Jones, Jeffrey Simmons, Willie Gay. It was just all over the place. And then on offense, you had Aris Williams and Kylan Hill. I mean, our area guys did some work in this 2017 Tax Slayer Bowl. We'll wrap up our coverage coming up at 10 and send the Bulldogs outright as they finish the season with a victory. For now, reporting here inside of Everbank Field in Jacksonville, Robbie Donahoe, WCBI Sports. Tom